start with practice set 8.3 now. The first sum measures of opposite angles of a parallelogram are 8x uh, sorry 3x minus 2 degree and 50 minus x degree. Find the measure of its each angle. I hope you remember the properties of parallelogram. Uh, one of the properties says that the opposite angles are equal. So what we do is first draw a rough figure here, small rough figure. Okay. Now they are saying that measures of opposite angles of parallelogram is like for example 3x minus 2 and 50 minus x. So they are opposite. I will label this A, B, C, D. So they are opposites. 3x minus 2 and 50 minus x. Now since they are opposite they are going to be congruent because the property says that opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. So uh, 3x minus 2 is going to be equal to 50 minus x y because opposite angles are congruent. So we will solve this first. We will get the value of x. We will get the value of angle A and the value of angle C. Then we will have to find out B and D. Okay. So now 3x minus 2 is equal to 50 minus x y opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Okay, so now let's solve. Now this is 3x, this minus x comes this side, so it becomes plus x. So 3x plus x is equal to 50. This is minus 2, it goes on the other side, it will become plus 2. So 3x plus x is 4x is equal to 50 plus 2 is 52. Fine. Now the value of x is 52, this is multiplied so it becomes divided, divided by 4, 4 1s are 4, 4 1s are 4, carry 1, 4 3s are 12. So the value of x is 13, fine. Now insert this value in this and this, like, like let's see here, angle A is 3x minus 2. And we have angle B as 50 minus X. So what we'll do is in place of X, we'll put 13. So we'll get the value of angle A. So 3 into 13 minus 2. Okay. 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9. So 13 threes are is 39 minus 2. 39 minus 2 is 37 degree. Now here. 50 in place of x we are putting 13. 50 minus 13. So 50 minus 13 is equal to 37 degrees. See angle A and angle B they are congruent. So this is done. Now we have to find out D and B. We know that when we calculate we add up all the measure is going to be 360 because all the angles when they are added up, the sum of the measures of all the angles of a quadrilateral, it's 360 degrees. So A plus B plus C plus D is going to be 360. B and D, they are opposite, so they are going to be equals. For example, if I say uh, let uh, this be D, B, Y, so our B is also going to be Y. Okay, so we label let measure angle D is equal to Y, therefore measure angle B will also be Y. Why? Same reason opposite angles of uh, opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Okay. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Therefore, now A plus B plus measure angle C plus measure angle D is going to be 360 degree. Okay. Sum of measure of all angles of a quadrilateral. Okay. Sum of measure of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. So our A we already know is 37 plus B is 37. C we know it's Y we've kept 
and D is also Y is equal to 360 degree. Okay. 37 plus 37 gives us 7 plus 7 is 40. 6 and 1, 74. Okay. Plus Y plus Y, 2Y is equal to 360. Now 2Y is equal to 360 minus 74. When you subtract uh, 74 from 360, you get 286. Okay, so y upon 286, y is equal to 286 upon 2. This 2 comes down. 2 ones are, 2 ones are, 2 fours are, 2 threes are. So therefore, the value of y is 143. That means finally, your angle a is 37 degree, angle B is 37 degree, angle C is 143, measure angle D is also 143 degree. Okay, that's it. Now here they say, referring the adjacent figure of a parallelogram, write the answers of the questions given below. Now here, YZ is 4.5, fine. If yz is 4.5, how much will xy be? If this is 4.5, it's a parallelogram, but obvious xy is also going to be 4.5 because it's the opposite angle, opposite sides and opposite side of parallelogram are congruent. Therefore, therefore, if yz is 4.5, xy is also going to be 4.5. Write the reason opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Alright. Next one. YZ is 8.2. That means this is 8.2. Therefore, this is how much? The same thing. If this is 8.2, this is also going to be 8.2 because parallelogram and opposite sides are congruent. So, answer is length XW is going to be 8.2 centimeters. Y opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Alright, the next one. If OX, that means if this is 2.5, how much is this going to be? If this is 2.5, this will also be 2.5 because diagonals bisect each other. Therefore, length OZ will be 2.5. Why? Diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Done. If W O is 3.3. .3. How much is the whole thing? If W O is 3.3, .3, how much is W Y? If this is 3.3, .3, this will also be 3.3. .3. And the whole thing is going to be 3.3 .3 plus 3.3. .3, that is 6.6. .6. We'll solve it here. Length W O is 3.3 centimeters. Therefore, length OY is going to be 3.3 centimeters. Reason diagonals bisect. Okay. Diagonals of rhombus bisect each other. Now the whole thing length WY is going to be length WO plus length OY. That is 3.3 plus 3.3 is equal to 6.3. 6 centimeters. Now the, the next one, the fifth part of the sum. The fifth sum says that the fifth sum says that if measure angle WZY WZY okay this is 120 fine. How much will WXY be? WXY will also be 120 because they are opposite right? So, opposite angles are congruent. So, this is 120, this is 120. They also want you to find out X, Y, Z. 
Now we know this is 120, but we don't know how much is this. Again, we'll have to use the same method. Keep this as x and this will also be x. So use the formula, use that method. Sum of all measures of angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So you use that method and find it out. So this is done. W Z is X Y is done. Now let's find out this. So X plus Y plus Z plus W is equal to 360. So 120 plus Y plus 120 plus W is 360. So I'll solve. Okay. Let's do sum number three now. Construct a parallelogram A B C D such that B C is seven. Okay. Parallelogram. A, B, C, D, such that B, C is 7 centimeters, A, B, C is 40 degree and length A, B is 3 centimeters. Okay, this much is given. Now, since it's a parallelogram, we know opposite sides are going to be congruent. So, B, C is 7, that means this is 7. A, B is 3 means this is going to be 3. Alright, now let's construct. First is our baseline B, C. So, B, C, 7 centimeters. So, let's draw B, C, 7 centimeters, B, C, 7 centimeters. Okay. Now, 40 degree. Now, from point B, you have to draw 40 degrees. So, keep your pointer like this. Now, it's an acute angle. That means it's going to be in the interior side of 90. This is 90 now. So, it's going to come in the interior side. So, this is a 40 degree. All right. We've marked 40. Now, we are going to draw this angle of 40 degree fine now the next part is 3 centimeters a b is going to be 3 take a scale measure 3 centimeters okay once 3 centimeters are done keep your pointer here cut okay now same thing keep your pointer on c and draw an arc because 3 centimeter from here also and from your roads. Alright. Now, after doing 3 centimeters, from here, from here to here, we need 7. So now take 7. Seven centimeters. Once 7 centimeters done, keep your pointer here and cut. Alright. From your 7, from your 3. So now join. And join this to this. All right. So from here, this is seven. So this is seven. This is three centimeters. This is three centimeters. This is forty degree. Okay. That's it.